Magnetism was discovered when ancient peoples saw bits of iron attracted to a lodestone. We now know that magnetism is a very complex property exhibited by all materials. This video examines the subtle magnetic behavior of some elements and their combination. Only a few elements are strongly attracted to a magnet. These include iron, cobalt, and nickel. The rare earth element, gadolinium, is also strongly attracted to a magnet. Other metallic elements are only slightly affected by a magnetic field. These more subtle effects can be examined with a styrofoam boat floating in water together with a strong neodymium magnet. Four elements that are attracted to a magnet are shown here with their reported paramagnetic strength as a percent of titanium. You can see the relatively strong attraction of this titanium coin and also of the tungsten coin. Aluminum and magnesium are attracted to the magnet but as the graph predicts, only slightly compared to titanium. Some elements align their electrons such that the element moves away from the magnetic field. Bismuth is the most dramatic element in this regard. You can clearly see the bismuth coin and a piece of the metal move away from the magnet. Gold is less diamagnetic than bismuth, but you can see this gold nugget slowly move away from the magnet. Although pure gold, silver, and copper move away from the magnet, not all of this motion may be due to their intrinsic diamagnetic properties. Some of this motion may be due to the induction of a magnetic field in these three very electrically conducted metals. This magnetic field will oppose the motion of the magnet this effect dramatically slows the motion of a neodymium magnet on a bar of copper, but not on the much less electrically conductive titanium. Of the elements examined here, silver and copper are the most electrically conductive and are most affected by the magnet's motion. Gold is also affected by the magnet's motion, although less so than copper or silver. The magnet's motion shows little effect on the less conductive titanium coin. What about gold and silver coins that are alloyed with copper? This 50 peso Mexican coin is 10% copper and moves slightly away from the magnet, uh, much like we previously saw with the pure gold or copper. However, this 1908 St. Gaudens coin is the same reported alloy composition as the Mexican coin, but is clearly attracted to the magnet. In fact, its attractive effect looks similar to tungsten, an element used by gold counterfeiters. Are other St. Gaudens coins paramagnetic? Uh, please leave a comment if you have any information concerning this topic. Not surprisingly, a 100% silver US dollar coin behaved like the pure silver that was tested previously. I couldn't detect any magnetic effect on this copper alloyed coin from Switzerland. However, this U.S. silver dollar coin uh, with 10% copper was clearly attracted to the magnet. I think it's interesting that two of the copper alloyed silver and gold coins were clearly attracted to the magnet, while well, two were not. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.